So my name is Shasha Nakai, and I am director and producer on Scarborough. Um, can I give you the synopsis now? Yes, sure. Yeah. The film is adapted from the award-winning novel by Catherine Hernandez, and it follows three children over a school year as they navigate various challenges but find community in a drop-in reading program. Oh, that's great. Wow. Yeah. Wonderful. Is this a kind of true story? Did she write it as a, as a personal true story? Yes, the writer Catherine Hernandez wrote the story uh, you know, this is her. She she wrote it based on the neighborhood she lived in, oh, and cool. uh, it's inspired by a lot of lived experience. And uh, it is a fiction project, but it is shot documentary style. Nice. And the name of the film is Scarborough. I got that part right. Yes. yes. Okay. The name of the film is Scarborough, and it takes place in Scarborough. And Scarborough. Excellent. All right. Um, and you are? I'm Kenya Jade Pinto, and I'm an associate producer on the project. Did you have fun doing this? It was a lot of fun. Yeah. yeah. Did we you have to travel a lot? Well, we were we shot most of it Just in Scarborough. Right yeah, yeah, and um, we worked with a lot of children, which was a lot of fun as well, wow, because wonderful. they grew up over the course of the year that we shot. So we really got to get to know these kids in a special was this way. Pre-COVID. Some of it was shot pre-COVID, and the last five days of shooting were during the pandemic. So we oh, really had my to gosh, adjust. Just barely got it out on time, huh? <laughs> And you, sir, if you want to squeeze um, yeah, it over? Yeah, I'm her partner. I, I, I have emotional support for the project. <laughs> and, and that's a very important job. Yeah, I think so. Yes, I think so. Is. Yeah, yeah. And, and you're well It's dressed. very nice to be here. <laughs> Our <laughs> pleasure. Thank you. And you? I'm Rich Williamson. I uh, was the co-director on the film, but also the editor and cinematographer. All right, then. So what was your favorite part? What was most gratifying about doing this movie for you? Oh, I think just working with all the people who worked on the project. Uh, a lot of them were first-time actors. Uh, so I think just learning how to work with them, um, it, it was just fun. We had fun on set. There were lots of kids in the film, and they had a great time uh, filming with us. So uh, not a, no, no favorite part. It's just a great... The whole thing was, it was fun. It was great, yeah. yeah. Yeah, well, I think it's important. I, I really appreciate you doing it. I'm, I'm so happy to hear somebody's doing something about reading because we spend too much time on these little screens, don't we? <laughs> and did these kids accept reading? Did they want to read? Yeah, I mean, the educator in the film, Miss Hina, sets up a drop-in reading program for the kids and their families. Um, she soon realizes that the families do need a little bit more support and the real reason why they're going there in the first place is because she's offering breakfast and oh, wow. um, so you know throughout the film she struggles a lot with her supervisor who's this very detached far away person and um, but ultimately in the end she builds a really special place for the kids and a place where they can play and be safe and read. Oh that's terrific. So where is it showing next and what time? What theater and what time? Um, we have a screening tomorrow morning, which is Friday morning at 10.20 a.m. And that's at the Fiesta Theater. Oh, that's a great theater and a great time. I think you should have a pretty good uh, turnout. And you Thank do you. question and answer after the end? Yeah, we'll be there for a Q&A. Oh, good. Yeah. Get ready for some questions. I'm ready. Oh, you're ready. ready. Hey, it looks yeah. like you're born ready. Well, thank you very much for stopping by, you guys. Congratulations. Thank, thank you. you. Mm -hmm. My pleasure.